After reveals of Star Trek Discovery Season 3, Episode 3 with the people of Earth, Episode 4 is likely to give us even more insight into the 32nd century environment of this brand new Star Trek season. This mission could be a reminder that we are and always will be connected to something greater than ourselves. Whatever happens out there, don't say anything annoyingly inspirational, that makes me nuts. Okay. We have to take the time to measure what we have all accomplished. You reminded us who we are to each other. Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome to Trek Central. Today we're talking about the upcoming Episode 4 of Season 3, titled Forget Me Not. The revelation of Episode 3 are likely to have an impact on the crew when it comes to their next mission in the 32nd century. Before the episode airs, we have a ton of details, images and a trailer for the fourth episode to talk about. Let's go. Before we do dive in, if you're new around here, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from myself and the team on Trek Central. We're covering every aspect of Star Trek Discovery right now, so make sure to keep up to date by following us here and on social media. Okay, engage. Be warned, this will contain spoilers for the upcoming episode and the season episode so far, so if you don't see any of that, then tune away now and come back later when we might be doing a spoiler-free review. The upcoming episode 4, Forget Me Not, is written by writers Alan McElroy, Chris Silvestri, and Anthony Ranville. Hanel Culpepo returns to direct Star Trek once more after previously directing the opening episodes to a brand new Star Trek Picard series that aired earlier this year. Feels so long ago now. First, let's break down the teaser trailer that appeared at the end of episode 3 along with the exclusive clip from the Ready Room. Let's start with the trailer. The trailer opens with a panning shot of the US's Discovery as it passes by the camera. Bridge shots show Captain Suri being greeted by a hologram of a humanoid figure, likely a Trill, as it's clear that Discovery and her crew will visit the planet of Trill in episode 4. Dr. Hugh Colbert narrates the opening of the trailer by saying the following. This mission could be a reminder that we, and always will be, connected to something greater than ourselves. What he means by this, I am not totally sure on just yet, but given that the episode will likely be Trill lore focus, I expect we'll learn more about it over due course. Additional trailer shots show Commander Burnham opening some sort of holographic map in her quarters. Discovery is shown in orbit above a planet, likely just completing a spore drive jump to the planet of Trill. It's possible that Burnham's holographic map is something to do with the updated navigational data to where and when they can find the planet of Trill. A few of us have theorised this does link in with the sphere data, which was obviously recovered in Discovery Season 2, and the whole reason they moved to the 32nd century. Our new character Vadira is seen telling Commander Burnham not to go crazy about her down on the planet. What they actually say is the following. Whatever happens out there, don't say anything annoyingly inspirational that makes me nuts. Scenes of Burnham and Adira wandering around the planet are shown, with them meeting Trills. Of course, it does not take long for fingers to go crazy, as Burnham draws her phaser and beats up one of the Trills. Why this is happening is unknown, but I do have a little theory. Personally, I think the Trill people are unlikely to be happy that a young human is carrying around a symbiote. They might try and seize him by force. Moving on, Lieutenant Detmo is seen going into sickbay, with Dr. Kolba seen inside. Perhaps she's going to talk about her recent traumatic experience, or maybe something else. We don't really know yet, but it's been alluded to us viewers that something odd is really going on here. Hopefully it gets resolved sometime soon, as I wouldn't want to see any harm come to her. Captain Sue narrates a montage of clips by saying the following. We have to take the time to measure what we all have accomplished. The montage of clips shows Burnham entering a chill pool and, and experiencing some sort of vision, or trance. This then shows her in some sort of weird realm. Honestly, I don't really have the words to describe what we're actually looking at here. When the clip appeared in other promotional videos for Discovery, Season 3, we she thought it could be some sort of temporal observatory. That's unlikely given the circumstances of the planet Trill, and also the revelation in Episode 1 that most of the time travel equipment has been destroyed. We then see some of the crew sitting in what appears to be Discovery's hangar bay, likely watching something. I am speculating this based off of Linus offering Jojo a box of popcorn, which is nicely brand of a Starfleet logo. Jojo's reaction says it all, but I do wonder what they're watching. You know, part of me while writing this did think maybe this ties in with Calypso and the Vidraish and their love for old media. Maybe that's something Discovery also enjoys as well. I don't know, we're gonna have to watch. Now continuing on, Tilly, Colbert and Reese are more regular characters are shown while Captain Saru's narration passes on. While Adira can be seen in this weird realm I mentioned moments ago, some mysterious figure can be seen in her eye. We're not sure who this is, but it potentially could be Admiral Tal, the previous host of a Trill symbiote which they are carrying. Finally, we end on the dinner scene of all the bridge crew and senior staff of the Discovery taking a seat at Saru's table in his ready room. As the new captain raises a glass to his crew, Tilly says, you remind us of who we are, to each other, and the trailer ends there. 
This trailer is certainly building up some hype to what we're seeing in this episode. Heavy amounts of Discovery Season 3 promotional trailers showcase the Trills' pools and Burnham's fight sequences with the Trills. Likely as they were shot and edited really early on, therefore setting this up was likely not very hard. Thinking about Episode 4, we do not know what to expect. Yes, there's a link with the previous episode of Adira carrying with Chill's symbiote, and Episode 4 is likely to introduce the new character of Grey, played by Ian Alexander. They'll be fitting into the series as a regular as well, and based on recent tweets, are likely to appear in Season 4, which has just started filming as of yesterday. Sharon and Michelle Paradise did confirm that via our Twitter account, and you can see our Twitter account for the confirmation tweet as well. Now if you have any crazy theories or ideas about what we can expect, make sure to let us know via the video comment section below. You can also tweet them to us or post them to our Facebook page. Like always, the Star Trek Discovery after show, The Ready Room, included an exclusive clip from this episode. This is a big spoiler for some of the context, so be warned as we always advise. Anyway, let's dive into it. The clip starts with a fantastic opening of the US's Discovery in space. The camera pans here really shows the beauty of this episode as the ship's being repaired by the dot repair droids. Dr. Hugh Colbert is giving a log as these cinematic shots happen. While he does this, we initially see shots of unnamed Discovery crew members wandering around the ship. I'm likely thinking this is going to be the opening to this episode, as it shows Discovery just sat in space, probably following their encounter with the Earth Defense Force. Episode 3 also did this, because this was Burnham's initial narration before she beamed aboard Discovery. If this is how the teasers are going to work, I'm all for it. Okay, so the first part of his log says the following. Our trip to Earth was eye-opening, a reality check, such as reality is. It's starting to hit everyone, just how little we have to hold on to. The personal moments we use to define ourselves, birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, funerals. We've jumped past all of them. As this log is going about, shots of Kolber performing medical scans on crew members around various areas of the Discovery can be seen. He starts in the mess hall of Linus, to which we can also see Philippa Giorgio just chilling in the background, trying to see what he's doing. He then moves to Discovery's gymnasium, a new room which I don't think we've seen before. While here, we see Lieutenant Owo and Detmer, with Owo looking slightly concerned at Detmer, as since episode 2, it's clear something is up with her, yet we still do not know exactly what is wrong. It's possible that Kayla is suffering from PTSD, or some form of that, but if you have any theories, do let us know in the video comment section below. Hugh continues his log by saying, They feel lost, disconnected. I tell them I've been alone, I've been lost. Both are survivable, and surviving can become living again. Hugh's log and his experiences likely take into account his season 2 journey of when he essentially came back to life after being lost in the mycelial realm. It's something interesting to note there, and how he can potentially help our Discovery crew members. It's at this moment he also proceeds to talk to Detmer while performing his medical scan, by mentioning that if she needed someone to talk to, he is here for her. Sadly, she brushes it off as being fine, but as we know, something else is definitely going on here. It possibly links together to when we see Detmer walking into sickbay later on. Maybe that does connect the two. Hugh continues to narrate his log by saying, But first they have to accept help. For a crew of overachievers, that kind of vulnerability can be hard to hold. Five words keep everyone going. When we find the Federation. It's become a mantra for the crew, in some cases it seems to help. The clip ends here, with Colburn performing more scans on some of the bridge crew, including Lieutenant Nilsson. But before that, he also wanders through the Spore Drive Engineering Lab, to which you see Stamets in the background, as he gratefully, you know, lets Tilly know he's there. Thinking about this clip, and the log that Dr. Colbo has made, it's clear that the crew's mental health is of concern, as they've made a large jump forward in time, severing personal connections. It's something which is hard to think about. Imagine leaving everything and everyone you know, and going somewhere extremely different. It's not as simple as just going to a different country, but an entirely different time as well. The hope that the crew had, the Federation, is now gone, so their purpose is also slightly lost as well. As Discovery's plot pushes on, finding a Federation and restoring them seems to be the key focus here. Now finally, before we do end off this video, as of all promotional runs of episodes, Viacom CBS has released new images for episode 4. You can see a selection of them on screen now, but most of them show what you've already seen in the trailer and ready room clip. It's worth noting that I personally love the setting of Sue's dinner table in his ready room. This looks to be a great moment in the show, and I can't wait to see it play out on screen. You know, it actually really reminds me of Star Trek Deep Space Nine, when Captain Sisko invited the crew around as he cooked dinner for them. An old but good episode. Hopefully this one, in particular, this scene, will live up to that and bring the crew together even closer. Likely it links into Dr. Cobra's medical log about bringing the crew together in some form and reminding them of family, Discovery's family. That wraps up our video today. Remember, Star Trek Discovery airs on Thursdays via CBS All Access and CTV Sci-Fi, and then Friday on Netflix and Crave. You can keep up to date with our video reviews and the latest news by hitting the subscribe button below, and also we're going to be updating you on the latest started news via social media. Our links are in the video description, and I hope to see some of you there. 
Don't forget, this week, as per usual, at Sundays at 9pm GMT, we'll be live streaming here on this YouTube channel discussing the latest episode. So if you want to come share your thoughts and opinions, we'll be live that time, and I hope to see you there. For now, I've been Captain Jack, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Live long and prosper, my friends.